We have one marked already. We're going for the uh, second one right now. I think that's a direct hit. Oh yeah, you yeah. got it. 10-4, you're right at the car where we have marked. But with four or five identify. more tomorrow, who knows? Yeah, yeah, we're right there. We're right, right there. on top of it. Yep, yeah, I'm on it. Yeah, you have three all within 15 feet right there. In yesterday's episode, if you missed it, we'll leave the link down below. We really didn't go over who it is that we're looking for here in Bosque County. We're looking for John Kreesh, and we really don't have a whole lot of information, so that's really why we didn't go over a whole lot of it. What we just need to know is we don't know if there's a vehicle involved. We don't even know if he's in Lake Whitney, but we have no other leads to go on. And so while we normally come into these cases and we're looking for one specific vehicle, we dive on a bunch of vehicles. And then when we identify and find that one vehicle, that's when we pull it out. But this case is a little bit different as we come into this working with Sheriff Hendricks here in Bosque County. And we're working with nothing more than the, the locations that the game warden found of six to seven vehicles. So far in yesterday's episode, we dove on three of them pulled out two of them and we still have four or five more to go today at the end of it i wish that i had more information to give you as far as john who we're looking for but we just simply don't at the end of the day we're looking for human remains stay with us as we get our day going let's see if we can bring john home thanks no absolutely you yeah, know and well. we want to continue to spread you know the word of what is it we are that we work you know wonderful with law enforcement that we are those resources that you don't yeah. have call us in that's what we invite you know the viewers spread the message that's why you need to like and subscribe and share these videos so that way not just other families that may need our services can find us but also so law enforcement can also hear about what is it we're capable of and it's not just awp it's an entire awp movement you know jacob grubbs you know jeremy exploring with nug britain dips of history you know they're all focusing on getting the small boats with the inflatables that we can drop them in there's no boat ramp here, and you see how easy it is for us to drop them in over the water here. And we can come work with law enforcement and help them solve these cold cases. So be sure to do that for us. It really helps us out. Anyway, yeah. we got a long day ahead of us. I know that we'd have four or five cars in there. Yeah. Um, different game plan today. We're not going to float them because the fire hall did not have you right. know, what we needed for air. And so you got- I was telling him the, the plan now is basically winch them out. So. Yeah. And so what we'll do is we're going to mark each one, uh, head on down with the, uh, get a solid hook on it. We'll zip line down your hook to each one of them. And then, like I said, we'll just start yanking them out so, of there. So I have a question for you. When you were down on the pickup yesterday, uh -huh. were you able to feel your way around inside the cab? Yeah, yeah. so I cleared it before, no yeah, before okay. anything happened, I cleared it. Okay. Um, same thing with the one that we're not pulling out. Right. 100%, I was all the way in it and I don't know if because the visibility's not there, right? Uh, as long as you're staying up off the bottom, the moment you hit the bottom, then you just silt everything out. Okay. And then I don't know if Doug relayed um, the trunk, but I was also in the trunk of this other one as well. I actually well. heard you talk to him on the radio about that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. So that's what we'll continue to do with the divers today. I'm going to stay topside. Doug's going to take lead uh, on diving today. But yes, they, we always clear them the best we can. If any windows are up, like if, if like all four windows are up on a vehicle, that's what really triggers us. It's like right. we don't start popping windows. We, they, at that point, everything changes in the way that we're bringing these We want to contain it just in case it is a crime scene. So. Sounds good. We're going to get to work and uh, probably, like I said, 11, 11.30, we'll be ready for the uh, tow trucks today.
you know, we are in Texas. And, you know, we're not after crime cases and specifically to target them. However, like I said, this is Texas. You got a lot of, a lot of cartel stuff that happens in and throughout here, yeah. Texas. So, I mean, right now we are between Dallas and the border. So, anytime we dive in on these cars, and there's really no telling what we're gonna find. So right there, right underneath of us, right there, right here. That's where it was, right? Yep. Yep. All right, so this first one should be, it was five feet off of the rocks. No, it was right, right in line with the rock. And five feet off the rock. And no. It was in, in line, line with, the, with white. the rock and the second white mark that begins the long rhythm of the white. Yeah, yeah, we're right there. We're, we're right, right there. on top of it. Okay. Uh, that is, shit. Right there. That's. And is that where the line is over there? What, what is the line on? Right there. See it? Yeah, I see it. Right there. on it. Jeez. That does not look good. So it's at 55 feet. You're almost on it, almost on it. You're five feet away. Four feet away, and you should be nailing it. Should be on the bottom. Should have been a direct hit. Are you on it? Sure, it's a car. I feel something. Maybe I'm on the rock. Maybe we're not on it. I see your line. I mean, it's like right on it. All right, I'm coming up to it. Coming up to it, and it is directly below us right now. I can see your line. Your line is all over it right there. All right, I'm there on you it. Go, I'm there you on go. I'm on it. I'm on it. All right. That's a horrible looking car there, dude. Yeah. It's upside that's, down. That's a sad looking car. Dilapidated. Hopefully it's upside down. That's what it looks like to me. Hopefully that one's pullable and the other one, the red one, is pullable too. Yeah. So that, that one is definitely not this other one that we've got. Should we just pull this line straight up and follow it out and see? Yeah. And we can tighten everything up on that one. So that way we're not running over that line either. So it's that right there. Is it right here? Yep. Is it straight up and down? It should be right over it right there. Yeah, so why don't you just tighten that up on there? We just tighten it up and then drop it back in the water right there. Okay, right, so there's that car. Actually, do we have a different car here? No, I think we have a different car. That's a rock. No, look. What I see on live scan, that's not a car, that's a rock. No. Absolutely a rock. That is not. That's a boulder. That is not. 170%. I'm gonna see if I can get shiny stuff on it. You see that? It says, I am a rock. I'm clear as day, I can see it. You see that? Yeah, I think you might be right on that one. Should we go, let's go mark that one off of that line, the farthest one down there. And let's run this uh, solid line. So you're gonna take this one, feed it from there. Bounce your magnet is right next to it. And it's like three feet away. Because it looks like you're on it. Like your line is stuck back there at the Maybe car. Maybe it's not a car. Huh? Maybe it's not a car. I'm, I mean, I, I feel the bottom, it's hard. Yeah, so we have another one here on the way down, aside from the other car that I was on. Does it act, does it look like a car? Yeah. Is it a whole car? No. And those two out there are like pancakes. Anyway, so we have one right here, one on the way down, the one that we checked yesterday, and then one past that that this line is on. Okay, now this one right here, you possibly do that cab that fell off the truck. Oh, that's what that is, okay. How hard was that cab? That makes sense. Oh, yeah, you can All right, yeah so, we, yeah, so we have one here, the one that we first checked first thing yesterday, and then one further down at 65 that this is on. 
I know this one is the red one that I was on yesterday. Uh -huh. We've got two here that we're gonna go down and, and identify. Uh -huh. We've got off of the blue line over here, we've got some of the remnants of the pickup truck from yesterday. We have a vehicle in front of the one that I dove on yesterday. Then we have the one I dove on. And then the line is attached to one at the very bottom of the hill. Wow. And then we have one more that looks like either a minivan or it could be a SUV of some sort, okay. uh, a little further down. So that's what we got. So that makes one, two, three, four, five that we're gonna dive on. Five. This one's coming out, I'm gonna say pretty much for sure. Yesterday that puts us at seven, plus there's another one we don't have marked eight total that we found so far. Yeah, the one Nine, on Nine, if you count the one on the other side. Yep. You're gonna be busy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we'll be diving on all five for sure, but this one's gonna get rigged and hooked up first right now. Okay. So that's Good our plan. Deal. Thanks guys. Yep, absolutely. This, this first vehicle he's going down on. I know it's the red one. I know it's on its side. The one that I was supposed to pick the up. The one yesterday. you're supposed to pick up, yeah. Okay. So he's gonna go to one wheel, second wheel, and then attach right here with the big with the down? big guy. Yeah. And then <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to drop that straight down on your line. Right now we have five vehicles marked. All are at the 60 feet mark or higher. I think one may be about 50. Um, so there's, there's definitely some additional safety parameters. We're gonna have safety stops on all these cars. So the, the, when I go down, when I go down, my main focus is gonna be to secure one main line to the car first thing. That way we have a hard solid, because right now we have magnet lines, which they're not secure. So when I get down there, I'm securing the line, fastening it directly to the car. There's no give in it. And then we can then, on comms, I can let Jared know what to send me down the line while I'm down there. That way I don't have to come up and down. Because the more I have to come up and down, um, the, the more dangerous things get today. So the less up and down, the better. Now you were on it. I mean, we'll come back to it. Just head over to that one while you're in the water, and then we'll mark it in a bit. So I'm up. Uh, I'm up above you at the buoy. So let me know when you're ready. Do you have a solid hook? All right, I've laid it on the vehicle. We're looking at a 80s model vehicle here. Confirmed, 80s model vehicle. Uh, are you able to pull it? Uh, give me a second here. Coming around the vehicle. I'm at the uh, driver's side door. Windows are open. This vehicle does have two rear wheels. I'm not. I'm going to try to 
clean with the driver's seat and the floorboard. This vehicle definitely has been in here 30 plus years. I mean, this thing is completely rotten. I don't feel anything in the driver's side floorboard or the seat. I'm gonna make my way to the front of the vehicle. All right, so the vehicle is rotten, Swiss cheese not pulling. I'm at the front of the vehicle. This vehicle does not even have an engine in it. There is no engine in this vehicle. It's an empty bay, no hood. There is no license plate on the front or the rear of this vehicle. And there is no driver's side front tire. I repeat, no driver's side front tire. I'm gonna make my way around to the front passenger side. Front passenger window completely open. The framing to the front passenger side is ripped off. I'm gonna try to reach in and see if I can feel anything. Uh, we do not have anything on this vehicle, man. This this is in really bad shape. I'm going to pull the magnet off the vehicle and begin my ascent. Alright, uh, come towards the, uh, come up the wall a little bit to the 35, 40 foot mark. I want to direct you to this other car. I'm at 1300 on air. Alright, well come up if you need to. Nothing but a shell of a vehicle. So There's you no didn't, you never got on the red one then? No. Okay. So when you, I went down, and I guess the line just immediately came off. Okay, I'll re I'll, hook, I'll rehook this one, but that one's completely clear now. The second one's clear now. Yeah, um, yeah. All these are dumps. I mean, there's no um, there's no tires on them. Okay, we'll pull this one, reposition this one. We'll pull this one out. We'll get everything off that line. We'll go switch the tank. Yeah. You told me there was other vehicles there. There was not. Uh, I went and zigzagged back and forth what the car, what the vehicle is on right now. I can put my whole hand through it and just sit there and crumble all of it. It's not pullable. I pulled the, I pulled the magnet off of it. It is a super old, old sedan. Like a, like round, two round headlights in the yeah. front. Super old, I can't identify. When something's been in there 40, 50 years, it's like that. Everything's been. Most, most of the contaminating it's already been done. That is now acting as a habitat. Definitely. For fish and wildlife. So for us to sit there and break it up, it's in this scenario, we leave it. Yep. However, if they're new, 10, 15 years old, still they still have glues. all the glues, they still have everything. We need to get them out right away. At, at, at every chance if we can do so. Part of that pickup truck is down here, and then I'm picking up the car that you dove on, and the car that Jacob has marked, just on. So not this line, this is the same car you just went on. On live scan, you're, third, you're 10 feet away from it. Uh, you're at 40 feet right now. Uh, 42 feet. All right, I got to the bottom. I'm at the bottom. Are you on it? Nope. I'm gonna swim over to the end of the line here. I'm sorry. Can you confirm you are on a vehicle? Yes, yes, yes. No. I am not, I cannot confirm that I'm on it. I am on a rock wall though. Alright, I have the magnet. 
you uh, come up and go over on that white one and head on down. Step four, step four. I'm at uh, 49 feet and it's dropping 50 feet. All right. This, uh, this line here is not on a car, it's on a rock. It's on a very big rock. I repeat, we have another big rock. Okay. I have a... Uh, I have a I have a windshield. I repeat, I have a I have a windshield, but I no car. A windshield and no car. Yeah, go uh go up to the uh, 35 foot mark and then head left from there. You're in that same location. Um, good news, bad news. That other one was a rock. That one is Jacob identified Swiss cheese. So right now we got Jacob going down on one more. We've lost that red one. So we're still trying to find the red one. So Jacob's gonna go in on this. You wanna go across the lake with me real quick? We'll go check that car. Doug, we're almost on scene. You can still relax. I got this covered for us. All right, there's our car, I believe. Right there. Heavily silted in. You can be all right with this? It's only a 20 foot dive. I see it already. All right, we're on it. Solid lock. vehicle upside down. Very old, I repeat, very, very old. Older than the other ones? Is this one pullable? Windows up, windows down? Cab, it's just a frame. I'm gonna say that this is at least 40 years old, maybe 50. Yeah, I'm working with a 60s model vehicle. At least a 60s model vehicle. Confirm no tag 50, 60s, your uh, 50, 60s model.
Do you want to go to shore? No. We're no. only we're no. only 30 feet from shore. No. 30 feet from shore. Nice, soft, sandy shore right there. Underwater hiking doesn't need the shore. I'm taking you to shore. Hold on tight. No. I'm taking you to shore. Here we go. Nope. Well, you better hold on to it. Well, you better hold on. Look, we're 13 feet from shore. We're gonna go see if there's a school bus. If there's a school bus on sonar, tomorrow we're getting a bus. That was worse than the one I did earlier. This one, I could literally, I could probably lift piece by piece and bring it out. They're coming back to do a scan of this area because somebody said that there's a Pepsi truck for sure, right here. We've also had uh, rumors of uh, the Dukes of Hazard vehicle, the General Lee. Now there's, now there's a couple of rumors of a Coke truck that we didn't find over here. Do you know anything about that? I've never seen no mine, which I haven't scanned all the way across. Oh, it's probably because there's I no Coke up. truck there. Yeah. <laughs> but, then, but then we heard there's a rumor of a Pepsi truck over here, so the Coke truck turned into a Pepsi truck. Well, Dr. Pepper truck. Oh, now it's a Dr. Pepper truck? Dr. Pepper. Oh, of course it is. It's over the road. In another location. <laughs> I thought that was stolen. Now there's a rumor of a school bus, too. Do you know anything about that? I've never seen you. In Juniper Cove or somewhere? Does that ring a bell? Yeah, but I ain't never. Stolen from a convenience store. This is newer. When they were done with it, they just ran it off. Yeah, where's that one at? Yeah. I, I think this is the one on the, on the other side of the bridge. Yeah, so, so it's not within 100 feet of shore here? Like it's, it's I, out no, further? I, I think it's further out. Okay. If, if I remember right, it's further out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll talk to uh, Chase also. I'm going to let him know that I'm going to head back out right now and go do a little bit more scanning. These gentlemen say that the Dr. Pepper vehicle is real and it's separate from the Coke vehicle. It was stolen by kids and crashed into the water. Is that what? Right. It was stolen from a convenience store and crashed into I'm not believing any of okay, you guys wait, anymore. Wait, wait. No, no, no. <laughs> also, the sheriff here has some information for you on another case. Is this the General Lee that I hear has been ran into the waters as well? It's, it's on a river, and it's, it's interesting you want to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, we do have some other news. We were actually talking to a gentleman up there that does a lot of fishing and takes he takes a lot of pictures, and he emailed me months ago, evidently, and I never saw it. He says that this is actually gonna go down, it's the old river channel. He goes, but then it comes back up and he actually has a newer vehicle on sonar. So I'm gonna jump back out here, but he says it's out here about 150, 200 feet or so. Mm -hmm. Vehicles, you know, will float for, you know, two to 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So we might have a vehicle at 50 feet on the other side of the river channel that's underneath here. So I'm gonna go scan that and see if I can identify where it pops back up okay. and run it. But yeah, he, I mean, it was plain as day and it would, it fits a 20, 15, you know, 10, 15, 20 year old vehicle is what it looked like on sonar. There's actually a river channel here. So normally we, we search, you know, 100 feet from shore or so, and it goes down, but we never went to the upside, which he says, you know, like 200 feet out from shore or more, which is kind of where we're at. So now I'm looking for the channel to come back up. And he says up on that ledge, there's going to be a vehicle up there and it was a newer vehicle. So we'll see if we can spot it. Yeah, it's, it's not starting. There's no fuel in it. Hello. Hey, do you maybe sort of kind of want to go for a boat ride and, and bring us some gas? Oh, you guys are out of gas? Did you fill it up this morning? I sure did. Oh. You do all your paddles? Well, well, why not paddles? I'm not I'm not got, gonna row all the way back from here. Boy, you got that young teenager in the boat with you. <laughs> just just bring me some gas. Alright. Alright, bye. So Jared's run out of gas. We're gonna have to go save him and Josh. Because we love him. It's 
$500 for the service and $100 for the fuel. If you want it or not, yeah. we can leave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a vehicle at 94 feet right out in here um, you got one vehicle here and then you got some type of structure here yeah there's a, a, a underwater town here yeah so it looks like that, that right there is is it's definitely a vehicle yeah at 97 feet and it looks like or 94 feet and it looks like that yeah that's pretty uh it's around in this area right here yeah they're both right there so they're more off of the point right there. I see. Do we? Uh, not yet. I want to go over both of them. 75 feet deep. There. Yeah, and it's newer too. It's not like those other ones. No. Oh, and then here's the other one. There's another one this way, a little bit further. So that one's in line with that one. And then we'll come over right here. Yes, yeah, so we have one at 65 feet, we have one at 70 feet. Yeah, yeah, you have three all within 15 feet right there. Right here, 65 feet. Might be able to reach it, 60 feet. You're about halfway there. Yeah, I mean, so we've, we've identified there's some down there, but we don't have any air left. So mark them is not gonna do us any good. Thing just crumbles, so same thing, they're 40 years old. So maybe what we do is we uh, enlist our viewers like him, you know, and on our next trip to uh, down this way, then we can always come back to Lake Whitney for some of those newer ones that look newer. Like, hey, we need cars that look 20 years and less. Yeah. So I spoke with uh, the sheriff in Hill County. Uh huh. And uh, there's a place over there called Juniper Cove that there's supposed to be some vehicles in over there mm -hmm. and potentially that school bus. And uh, he said, we're more than welcome to go over there if you want to go over there. Uh, also, I told him, you know, the record services from here, they're familiar with working with y'all. And he said, if y'all want to go over there and do that, that's fine with him. Well, they haven't done a whole lot of working with us. They've been a whole lot of like, hey, hanging out and watching us. But uh, I, I, and I feel really bad. I apologize. Well, they all feel like family now. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but that's up to you. I don't know yeah. what your plans are, your schedule. I, I think that where we're at, you know, since we're, you know, we, we lost day one, yep. you know, and we're 100% out of air right now. Right. That, uh, I mean, we're going to end up running over to Waco. And sure. so I think sure. that at this point, you know, we got NBC and they're doing a big documentary on us. I think that what we'll do is we'll just kind of run over there, prep and plan for meeting up with them. And yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll just kind of start putting the word out, you know, within the community. We got this guy up here that, you know, is a big boater and have him start talking with his fishing buddies and start marking these GPS locations of these ones that look newer. Like, right. give me, give me images, not of this crap, but give me images of ones that are, you know, new up to 20 years old. And, and you know, this guy up here, he's, you know, starting to understand the difference as he watches our stuff more. And so I know that he knows of three that would be newer. Yeah. And he, we just need to get GPS coordinates from him. And then on our next trip, then we'll just plan on coming back over here and Good. let's work work together again. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Look forward to it. All right. Well, sir. Thank you. Thank you very it. much. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Yep. Appreciate it. Absolutely. So while I wish that we could have found John Creech, unfortunately we did not, but we do have a game plan as we continue to spread awareness of who we're looking for, where we're looking for them at, and if you happen to have any ideas, be sure to reach out to us. Our email is in the description below, as well as be sure to subscribe, share this, and spread the message because you never know who else might be able to have just that one little tidbit of information that we're looking for. And if you're a boater here on Lake Whitney, Spread the message. Get out there, use that sonar, and send us those emails and those tips. On that note, we appreciate you being here. Let's go see if we can solve the next one. Thanks. Bye.